All right, we're back, everybody, for another episode of Observer. Last time we uh, got a weird call from someone who claimed to be our son, tracked him down, found him dead? Maybe? Maybe not? Don't know yet. Could have been. Might not be. Who knows? Uh, flailed around with the controls for a little bit in learning how to examine a crime scene. And now we're going to leave this apartment to try to find the mysterious H.N. Who was alluded to on the compass. Trigger the security system. Must be a way to deactivate it. I did that, though. What? Wasn't that what the whole keypad thing was for? Oh, maybe it's this. Oh! Downtown Inferno. Tragic accident or insurgent attack. Emergency services are still on the scene after an immense explosion tore a hole through what was once a serene business area of downtown Krakow. The blast is now thought to have originated at a Chiron Incorporated Research and Development Center. Although a joint search effort has been launched by the KPD and corporate personnel, the rescue teams scouring the site are yet to find any survivors among the rubble. The exact number of casualties is yet to be calculated, but according to our, service, our sources, no high-ranking Chiron official was injured in the tragic event. As to what caused the explosion, early reports suggested a reactor malfunction, but a corporate executive who wishes to remain anonymous had his own ideas on the subject saying we're not excluding anything at this point but this has terrorists written all over it. It is precisely the sort of cruel and cowardly tactics the anti-republican insurgents excel at. We'll have an official statement on the matter shortly. If the insurgents were indeed behind this vicious attack, their goals remain a mystery. The center conducted civilian research focusing primarily on developing new and improved neural links and other consumer products. It seems that whatever third party was involved, their sole purpose was to wreak havoc and destruction, striking fear into the hearts of the public at large. When asked to comment, police inspector Robert Pecula gave a prompt and stern reply. Chiron executives have provided their full support in dealing with the situation. He then retreated to his squad car, clearly distra distraught by the events of the day. We'll bring you more on this story as it develops. Email, they know. Applying complications. Listen, I know you're a busy man and all, but we gotta talk. Now. I think they're on to me. For real this time. I'm almost certain someone followed me home yesterday, and today I saw this weird guy outside my window, just standing there. If you can't guarantee my safety, then I'm out. I got enough problems as it is. H.N. Hmm. Whole bunch of corrupted data. Home security. Open gate. Activated the apartment security system, leaving the crime scene. All right. That gave us a well, not really any more information. You just know that HN is suspecting that someone is onto them. Either partially behind the explosion? I don't it know. Doesn't feel right. You're still alive. No way. Um. That sounds like a slight problem. That's, that can't be good. Locked. This is a sanctioned lockdown procedure. There is no need for concern. Remain in your and await further instructions. All right, well. Nope, locked.
It's all good. There's a tattoo shop in the apartment building. Neat. Another holocom panel. Yep. KPD, I need to talk to you. Get away from me, man. I got a piece on me, and I ain't afraid to use it. No, you don't. No, <laughs> I'm just looking for some answers. Oh, I know how you get your answers. I got nothing to tell you. All right. He has no interest in conversing with me. floor there. Alright. I found a picture. Um, he had nothing to say about it. Interrogate the local tenants. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm trying to do. So, people, I guess I just got to go around and buzz panels. I didn't touch that door. Um, I just looked at it and it opened. Got another panel here. What? What do you want? Got a minute, sir. KPD. Oh God, they're here! The cleaners are here! I mean, no, but okay. Oh, Hi, this is Tom. And Irene! <laughs> we hope you're having a positively peachy day. Oh, we sure do! Sadly, we're not in right now. <laughs> but you can leave your message after the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as we're home. Yay! Oh, I mean, beep! <laughs> Anything in here? Nope. Hey, PD, I need to talk to you. You broke it. No, you broke it. Nuh uh. Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here. Yeah, what's this about? Charming. Do you know the tenant in apartment seven? I thought I told you to shut up! Seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? Eh? to find him well why don't you tell me what he looks like I'll let you know if it rings a bell we lost touch it's been a while huh. sign of the times I guess see I'm a family man myself are you no you shut up no you I swear if you don't shut up this, this, this. yeah I can tell 
So can you describe him or what? Yeah, he's probably in his 20s. Medium height, medium build. He wasn't very memorable. Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of them. You are so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh uh. You're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! Not upstanding citizens like you. Ha! You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah, good luck with that. All right. Nobody home. these things they're not oh for fuck's sake I hit the wrong button oh they are just holocom panels they're just a different I must have somehow crouched under it and got stuck nope nope Some kind of keypad over here. Can't examine that. Press Y to hack. I mean, why not? Open says me. Oh, it just leads to more apartments. Alright, well there's still a couple apartments down this way that I haven't beeped on. I got both of these. KPD. I need to ask you some questions. Do you know what's going on? My hollow projection got cut off. Uh, I can't get a signal. The building is under lockdown. No external connection. Not much we can do. Shit. This sounds serious. So, uh, you wanted to ask me something? This person seems slightly more agreeable. Do you know who lives in apartment 7? 7? I didn't even know anyone lived there. Uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to know when they're going to fix the connection. Not that it's like super important to me or anything. I just need to know. Hmm. I'm going to lie to him. Just take it easy. I'm sure oh good. It's just that it feels weird to just sit here alone with my thoughts. You know, can you talk to me some more? It makes it kind of easier. Well, what do you want to talk about? Oh, um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Gorski the Giant was fighting Killer Cromer today. You an AMA fan? Uh, not really. Sounds like you are. Of course, I don't know who won since my projector went out. <sighs> Why are my hands shaking? Mm, 
previous lockdowns. Oh, well, I, uh, uh, it must have been at least seven or eight years. Have I had the lockdown before? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember my projector going off. Ever. Yeah, no. Sorry, I don't have time for this. Oh, okay. Uh, I understand. It's no problem. I'll just sit here, alone. God, I'm really starting to sweat like a pig. <laughs> Hang in there. Wait, what's... Huh. So if you use the um, EM vision on posters, it'll give you a readout of them. Hey, you there. Come here, quick. Yes. What is it? What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? Was there an outbreak? I don't know. Too early to tell. I'm looking into it right now. Looking into it? Are you out of your mind? We might all be infected. You don't know that. Best thing we can do is stay calm and let them come slaughter us. I won't let them take me. I won't. All right. You, you do you, buddy. Nothing in this bathroom. That door's locked, so back the other way. I haven't found out a whole lot of anything. Toys, attention parent, your child can't touch a hologram. Kinetic toys. State of the art holographic display, virtual reality great immersion. Alright. Come to the door, please. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? No. I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... ever, I guess. Well, you've got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. Well... You're entirely helpful and not at all useless. Mateo's Kasejic? I don't know. I don't know what these pictures are for. But I'll keep collecting them. Dad? Door unlocked, huh? Spiders with fire and sword. Or I had that backwards, whatever. Sounds better my way.
remove your plant something else there I can't remove your implant oh Well, this seems like something I should investigate further that will in no way cause anything strange to happen. Yep, that's PC, all right. Beep. Don't believe their lies. The plague is still out there. Fellow undesirables, if you're up to date with Chiron propaganda, you probably heard our so-called Minister of Health spout out another gem of corporate wisdom. For those who didn't, let me catch you up to speed. To all those who have given in to insurgent fear-mongering, I say again, there is absolutely no need for concern. The nanophage is no longer a threat. We have contained the glitch and thus freed ourselves from the disease. Loyal citizens who support reason, responsible augmentation have nothing to be afraid of. Three words. Bull fucking shit. Let me tell you how things really are. Unless you're one of the lucky class A fucks with a shiny set of mods, in which case you're probably not reading this, the nanophage is still very real. We've had at least three confirmed cases in the past year, one of which, which led to a small-scale outbreak. Luckily, we managed to contain it before it spread beyond control. Now you might think these three cases ain't nothing to get excited about, if so I can tell you've never been in an outbreak. For most of us cooped up in class C districts, even a single instance is one too many. Okay, so what the hell are you supposed to do? First and foremost, it's better to prevent than cure. Given the phage recovery rate, these words should be considered gospel. Once the plague hits, it's usually too late, so if you want to stay safe, look for these symptoms. Fever. Pay attention to even the slightest bumps in body temperature. The phage starts off slow, barely more noticeable than the flu. So if you're feeling a bit under the weather, get your ass to a local clinic and run a scan. Better safe than sorry. Implant irregularities. This is where it gets tricky. Assuming that, like most of us, you can't afford to run regular mod maintenance, you've probably gotten used to the odd jolt of your neural implant or a slight spasm in your artificial arm. However, if these start to occur at an increased rate, you need to check yourself. Erratic behavior. Every once in a while, try to look away from the projector and take a gander at your neighbors. If any of them are acting weirder than usual, babbling to themselves, walking crooked, there might be something afoot, assuming they're not drunk or high. A bit of civic awareness won't kill you, a lack of it might. Juncture inflammation. Okay, so the skin at the base of your implant turns red and starts to itch. The bad news is you might be infected. The good news is it's not a death sentence. Our clinics have performed numerous extraction surgeries, and unlike the corporate cleaners, most of our patients tend to leave the operating room alive. As long as there are no nanite punctures, it's still not too late. If there are, you're most likely too busy hallucinating puking blood to notice. If you spot any of these symptoms in yourself or anyone in your neighborhood, contact one of our clinics. If you don't know how to find us, ask around. We got eyes and ears all over sea district, districts, so chances are we'll find you. Now, here's what you definitely don't want to do. Don't panic. Chances are it's still not the phage. We've had dozens of false reports on alleged outbreaks that turned out to be a nasty case of pigeon flu or an old implant gone haywire. Don't be an idiot. In the last couple of months, we've had dozens of incidents of violence aimed at suspected carriers. Guess what? It doesn't solve anything. Once the disease takes root, we're all in this together. Do not report it. I can't stress this enough. The cleaners are not your friends. They're not coming to help you. Yeah, it's possible. Best case scenario, they'll lock down the entire building and go through it with a fine tooth comb using the outbreak as an excuse to confiscate subversive materials and detain any undesirables. Worst case scenario, the ones they don't slaughter outright will end up as guinea pigs for Chiron R&D. If it comes to that, do yourself a favor and pack it in. Jump out a window, blow your brains out, doesn't matter how, just make it last. You won't thank me later, but you'll regret it otherwise. Oh, I, there was other... There we go. Undelivered mail notification. <laughs> My dear Annie, by the time you read this, I will no longer be among the living. The details are not important. Just know that I went out on my own terms. I won't ask for a proper burial. God knows you don't owe me anything. And by the time the cleaners are done with the place, I doubt there will be anything left of me to bury. Just know that for all my thought faults, I have always loved you, just like I loved your mother. When the disease took her, a part of me died that day. 
Simple displays of affection became a foreign concept, a painful reminder of what I had lost. It doesn't justify what I've put you through, but it is the truth. I'm so happy you've managed to get out of this hellhole and find someone worthy of your love. I wish you all both the best. Love, Dad. No documents. Programs. Oh my god. Let's do it! Those bloody spiders again! I found a coin! I got two coins! It's mini game time! I made it! Oh, I wanted to go to another level. Alright, go back to menu. More spiders! Oh lord! Round the block! Sweet! Oh, I can only play the first two levels. Alright. Minigame complete. For now. Next time. I, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on here. Shit's weird.